Hi there, this is Kathy Crow here at the Crow Cottage. I am sorry I'm a few minutes late. I'm actually a little earlier than I thought I would be. And <laughs> the unforeseen events is, is that it was harder to do this card than I expected. Um, it's uh, it's actually, let's see if I, I do. I've got, so I went online today. I wanted to do Scary Cute for our Halloween. This is the last Halloween card I'm gonna do. Hi Trudy, good to see you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. You're always so good at doing that. And I really appreciate it. When I see your name, I remember that actually people do that once in a while. <laughs> and so I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for being one of those. Um, this was from a Cindy Hafner. Now, I don't know if she is still a demonstrator, but she's been a de she at that time. It was like 2012, I think, when I got what this, vi this card design from. Um, she'd been a designer. Uh, a demonstrator for probably quite some time, but she was doing other stamps too. So I don't know if she's moved on to other things, but this was a little different than our, the center step one that I did before. And um, when I saw it, I it, I thought it would be perfect for this scary cute thing. Boy, my hair is doing weird things, huh? Oh, well, <laughs> try, to, try to ignore the wing on the side. Um, I was showering really fast to get in here and get going because again, like I said, it just took a long time to get this card because this was a really big one. The one she designed is really cool for something more than Scary Cute. Scary Cute just doesn't have quite as enough stuff in it. And I'm actually using old DSP from last year too because I didn't buy this year's Halloween DSP because I always have so much of it left over because I don't do a lot with Halloween. So um i this year i skipped it um but anyhow so this was done with like a big eight and a half by 11 sheet of card stock and so i have made it smaller it's still bigger it would go into a regular yeah you know, five by seven card envelope i believe though so anyhow that's what we're doing and don't forget this is the this is the month that you can join our team. I would love to have you join us. This last month, we made a cute little box um, on our team meeting. That was fun. I really appreciate all of my team ladies for joining me. They're so fun. And um, it, to, this last time, it was just Diana and I together. But at the at the other ones, probably check it out later because I always do a the do it on on a video. So anyhow, they have all, I send those kits to them and then they do it at their leisure. And that's the reason we all kind of got into stamping. Our team is a hobby demonstrator team. So we don't really do a lot with trying to sell and I don't push them to do that because they'll do it if they want to. And if they can, because generally if, if people see what you do, they really want to do it too, or they just don't. And if they do, then it's a great time to say, well, this is how you can save money. And we'd love to have you on our team and do it, you know, here with me or do it online, however you want. And, um, and that's what I was looking for when I joined, I wanted to be able to do it on my timetable and uh, be able to do everything at my leisure rather than feel like I had to go to meetings and things like that because I just don't have the time to spend. Now, to this week, I have been working like a dog <laughs> outside in my yard. And I'm going to turn the camera and maybe you can see. Um, don't, you know, if you can see what I've been doing out there. See that pile of dirt out there? Well, that is about... Oh, one sixteenth of its size yesterday, I started in and got almost all of it into the the um, raised bed that Jeff and I did, and that's right next to it. The, the our lawn guys were going to dump that dirt right into the bed, and I was so thrilled that they were going to do that. But then they called us while we were at um, at the farm fest or whatever we did on Saturday, and said. It, our truck is going to hit the lip of your your bed, so we're going to have to dump it on the grass. It's like, okay, but no. <laughs> I worked really hard yesterday getting that all in, but it's almost all in. All that dirt on the grass is going into pots, and I'm really excited about gardening again. So that kind of has probably interrupted my card making to some degree. That might be one reason that I am not on top of things today. Oops, my camera did not like that. Let me try it again. And then, oops, sorry for this cl cl <laughs> the cl 
close shot of my mouth. Probably nobody wants to see that. I don't. Um, let me turn off my sound on here and then I can see your comments on my phone, hopefully. And let's try that again. Phone, come on. Now this is the sign that the phone is not brand new anymore. When it's brand new, it just like flips all over the place without any trouble and, and I don't have to really worry about it. But it's getting older and now it's acting up a little bit, but not too bad. It's doing pretty well. All right, so here's my host code. If you want to place an order, I do really appreciate it. I have to go in there and see who has done that because I send um, a card pack and other goodies. Depending on the size of your order, you might get free stamps or free uh, embossing folders or something. So um, you should just go right ahead and order. Use that and then put in your name and, and whatnot as a customer and then... Um, I can send you whatever it is that I can send you, but I will definitely send you cards. I like to be able to um, use those in a way that's useful for you to see um, possibly, you know, a new idea of how to do something. Okay, I'm hoping that I got everything going here right, and I'm it's looking a little better than it. Some sometimes it takes me a long time just to even get that. So I've got that up there. I actually taped it up there today. So this is the big card. If you go on to Cindy Hafner, put in scene stepper card, and this one will come up if you want the big one. Um, the, the thing that's unique, this is not a center step card, is that it it does a, a, a little platform in there. It's pretty cool. Um, the one I'm doing, I'm, I made the back opening a little looser so that it it's, so that's how big it is, and it's quite nice. I really like it, but I'm not going to do, I'm not doing, like I said, the design I'm doing just doesn't have quite enough to fill that much space. So instead of it being that size, we are going to do this size today. So this one, I'm going to lay it here so that you, I know my measurements are super small, so that's not going to be useful for you, but I am going to be needing to use them as I cut and I need my ruler. Okay, so here is my ruler. I believe it is five, um, did I do five and a half? Let's see. No, it is seven, seven by 11. So that's what we're going to start with. Okay, so I'm going to, kind of just leave this on the side here and um, you can see my cord and my glue and <laughs> my lotions. I'm going to just leave that over there and then we're going to go ahead and just cut a um, piece of plain old black card stock at the seven inch mark. Now today I'm going to use this scary cute. This is, a, I think I've used this before, but I don't know that I've done a video with it. And um, and it, this is actually one of the cuter sets I think they've come up with, partly because they have, I'm not going to use it, but there's this really cool frame die, and I wanted to use it, but when I tried to get it in here on my frame and cut it, I was going to just cut it double cut, you know, to get it wider to go. It just, just wasn't working. It's... um. Huh. It just it just wasn't working for me. I couldn't do it. But it if if I had taken more time to figure it out, maybe because I do think that would really look cute. But anyhow, the little castle inside the cat is super cute too. But I do really like the castle and the little bats and the dies are very cute, very cute. So I think you will like that. Even if you're not a Halloween person, you're probably going <laughs> to go, oh, I wish I could do Halloween because I kind of like that. So we're going to take this um, set 11 and a half, no, 11 by eight and a half cardstock. This is just Stampin' Up's black. And I always keep my, my cutter upside down. I don't know why I learned using it that way, but I did. So I always use it that way. But we're going to need to cut it at seven inches. So I put out the arm and I'm cutting it at seven inches. All right. Now, like stepper cards, it's actually not that complicated. Um, or, or like, yeah, uh, center, center step cards. It's the same principle. We're just adding in an extra little platform here in the center. Okay, so it's the same principle. Um, and you can use any size that you want for your, your center, your, your stepper 
platform stepper see oh scene stepper that's what it was called a scene stepper card but you know to get a nice platform here you're going to want to get it big enough that's kind of the issue that i faced when i was trying to make it a little smaller i was thinking well i could probably make it it's going to end up being a little longer this way than i wanted i kind of wanted it the length to be this direction rather than this direction. It's not square, but it's not quite the rectangular shape I wanted, but we're going to live with it anyway. So let's do all the score lines first. If, if you do the score lines first, it'll make it easier. So we're going to turn it, I let's turn it to the 11 inch or um, side, which is the long side. And then what we're, what I want to do is, um, score all first of all I'm going to score all of these outer ones now these outer ones I'm only going to score in one inch that we're going to just do a one inch with this score tool one inch in from the edge for all of these and then we'll come in and do these other ones okay so for now what I'm going to do is just going to score these again outer ones one inch so I'm putting it first I'm going to start at the one inch line Okay, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one so whole side, and then I'm gonna flip it like this, and I'm gonna do the whole other side. Okay, just so that you know what what's going on, and you can expect hopefully good things to come from it. Just make sure that your line is at the one inch mark, because sometimes I don't get my paper in here, the cardstock in quite, especially when you're starting that first one sometimes it can be off just a little and it does make a difference so make sure it's at that one inch all the way to the bottom and then find since i've got it on black it's pretty hard for me to see i'm gonna have to stand up here is where my one inch line is so i'm gonna just put my score tool in there right on where the line is on the one inch and go out and i'm doing it two times just to make sure i can see it really good okay so that's the one inch one and then I'm going to go to two inches. Now, when you get really good at doing this, you can come down and do the one inch this way, too. Because actually, you're going to score from six to seven. Yeah, let's just do it because um, it'll save us some time if I do. Okay, let me get it all lined up here again. Perfect. Okay, it looks like my blade's getting just a bit... Dull again. Okay, so find your six inch line and then we'll score out from that. So we've got our one inch one done. Now we'll do the two inch line one. Okay, so come back up to the one inch, push down, score out and away, and then come back to six inch and push down and come down. And then we're going to come up to the six and a half inch line. Okay, six and a half inches way up here. Okay, again, we're just scoring this one. Yeah, this one we're just scoring out again. So go to your one inch mark. And push down and score out. I do have some jokes for you today. I hope you'll enjoy them. I think you will. <laughs> I know I enjoy them. They make me laugh. My son hasn't been watching. He was watching. Oh, man, he's super busy because they moved into a new house, so he doesn't really have time. And he does work during the day, too. You know, it's not like... Okay, now I'm going to do the inside lines. We're still keeping it this this direction, this cardstock. But um, we're gonna we're gonna do something a little different. So from for this one now, we're gonna go to the two inch line. So put put your cardstock where it says two inches. But now we are going to score on the inside, and the score line is gonna be three and three quarters inches long. And I kind of need it to be like right in the center. And I did not mark. Like I should have, I should I should have marked the center. Now we know this is seven inches, so I'm gonna grab my pencil. Well, do I need to do that? Yes, I do, because I I should have figured out this edge. Did I did I figure it out? Let me look here. Cut. 
at four and I I figured oh I did I figured it four and three quarters that doesn't help me though um I don't see that I wrote in my and I I didn't get it quite centered I hate to use this because I'm not sure if I got it really centered let me measure it and see if I did because I that is one and five eighths there. Let's see if this one's one and five eighths. You can see I had a flub right there. One, it is one. Well, it's maybe not perfectly one and five eighths. It's close. So we're going to do that. We're going to go one and five eighths in. No, 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 no. That's the that cut. I'm uh, I'm getting confused. So this is the spot. Yeah, it is. It's one and five eighths. Okay, I'm just double checking because this is kind of important. It is. It's one and five eighths. All right, so I'm going to put, I think I'm, I want one and five eighths and I'm finding it like right here. Can't really mark my paper very easily. Let's let's do this. Okay, we're on this one inch. No, we're on the one, the two inch line, and I want to go in one and five eighths. Get out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just finding the one and five eighths mark and I'm putting a little pencil mark on it. And then I'm gonna, just cause I don't trust my math, I'm gonna find it this way too, on this end. One and five eighths and marking it there. So that doesn't look right though. See that I can tell that is not centered. <laughs> it has to be centered. So this is why I'm questioning myself. Okay, I'm going to do it a different way. We're going to find the center. So the center of three inches is three. I mean, seven inches is three and a half. So we're going to find the center line. Okay, that's the center point. Put our paper back at two inches. So that should be the center. It doesn't look quite right to me, but it's got to be. And then our score line that we're going to do is actually three and three quarters of an inch. So we're going to do, what's half of three and three quarters? Let's see. It would be, mm, we're going to be working with three eighths of, a, of, a, of an inch. I better grab my, oh, I don't have my calculator handy. Okay, three and three quarters. We're going to just wing it here. All right, if this is the center point. Okay. And... I need it to be in one and one and five eighths. Oh man, this one is just off a tiny bit. That's why I'm having trouble. It's almost one and a half, but not close. We're gonna go to one and a half just to make this easy for myself. Cause it, the center thing doesn't have to be exact. So to make this easier, I'm gonna go to one and a half and then we're gonna score that. So go to the one and a half mark put your score tool in there or drag it down if you still have yours attached. Okay, I'm gonna score it, but I'm not going all the way. I'm just gonna go a little bit. I'm starting at one and a half, going a little bit, and then I'm gonna turn it, the paper over. I know I'm getting my fold or score the wrong way, but I, I just need to see where it is. So put it back at your two inches. Okay, and then start at your one and a half spot again and score going towards what you just did. And then that way you've got your, 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 your fold line. Let me draw it. Can you see it? I don't know if you can really see it because I'm working on black here. Since this is going to fold down right now, maybe you can see where that, that fold is. It's from here to here. All right, it ended up being just a little longer than I wanted it, but we're not cutting that. That's going to stay a fold line, so we're going to live with it. All right, now the next part we need to do is this cutting line right here. 
and that is at four and three quarters of an inch. And again, it's, th it's three and three fourths of an inch long. So let's measure this right now. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. Um, I've got a wooden roller. Maybe I should grab it. It's, I don't see my wooden one, but here's my metal one. All right. All right, so we want this line, this, this line needs to match this cutting line. Okay, and this is seven inches. Here's my three and a half, so this is my center point right here. And we're coming up to four and a half inches. So I'm gonna just mark it so I know, or four and, not four, yeah, cut, no, four and, four and three quarters of an inch is where we're coming up to. So we're gonna, at four and three quarters, we're gonna come up to right about here, and we're gonna make our cutting line. And I want that to be three and three fourths of an inch long. So it's gonna be here. And I just need these sides to be the same. So if this is where I'm cutting it, this is not gonna, yeah, it's close, but not quite right. Let's move it over a bit. Let me look here. Quarter, one and a half, one and a half. I'm taking a long time on this because I, I kind of want it to be right. So one and a half, that's my one and a half mark there. That's my, so it just needs to move over a bit. Let's go from this edge. Let's do one and five eighths. And then that will match that. Okay, so one and five eighths is going to be here. So it's, it was off just a tiny, tiny bit. But then that will make our, our fold match. Okay, so this is our stopping point there and there. And I just came in one and five inths inches of on each side to get to that that point that's how i did that all right i think there's an easier way and i'm sure i will figure it out in some point in time but hi andy oh i didn't see you were watching it's nice to see you thank you for joining me and um how's your weather it is nice here today although it's gonna rain so i am gonna get out there and get the rest of my plants Got to get all the plants planted. I haven't planted. I've got a bunch of plants that I ended up having to order because, believe it or not, plants are really expensive here because nobody, nobody uh, grows plants, apparently. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm finding my little marks here in the, in the area, but I kind of just shoved them up there. I really want the, to make sure that this cut line is at four and three quarters of an inch. So let me just double check. It looks like it is. So we're good. So I'm putting my score tool right there where I marked it and trying to find where my other mark is. And then I'll score that a couple of times. Looks like I didn't go quite far enough. I thought I did, but I did not. There, 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 there. Okay, now that I've scored it, now I'm going to cut it. I, I just wanted to make sure I had it right before I actually did this cut. Because you're actually going to just cut right along there. I went a little long. Better to go long than too short. All right, now that that's done, we are going to do the next fold line. So we're going to do a, get that cutting blade out of the way. Get your score tool back out. This one is at five and a half inches. Boy, I've got a lot of gray hair floating around. I can see it on this black cardstock really well. Okay, five and a half inches. Okay, we're just doing the center. So we're going from one inch to the six inch mark. So you're leaving your one inches unscored this time. Instead of scoring the outside, we're scoring just the inside. Go from the one inch mark to your six inch mark. Okay. And now we're gonna do one more cut. 
And this cut is at nine inches. Okay, now this one's gonna match this one. So I'm gonna just use my ruler. Come on over here so I, I can see where I've got my cut. I'm gonna just put, oh, I can't really get a mark in there because my pencil's too. I guess I can look on the cutting board and see what that is. It's actually at one and five eighths. Oh yes, that's right. I forgot that's what we came in at. So one and five eighths. I'm getting my blade over there. One and five eighths. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my blade down here, my ruler, I mean, just to get me to kind of see where that is and stop where I want it. it uh, this actually can go a little farther too. I'm even gonna take it a little farther because this part is gonna have a platform shoved in there and it doesn't hurt to have a little more space. Okay, we have two more cut lines to do and they're just straight down here and here so that this is a little platform that folds down. So just, you're gonna just eyeball it. Get your, where you have a mark. It should be at one and five eighths. On this side, it will be one and five eighths. Yeah, it is. It's at one and five eighths. So put it where you're, let me show you what I'm doing. So here's where we did that score line. So we're gonna cut from this fold line up to this mark where we've slit it. And this side is at one and five eighths. So I'll slide it in here, one and five eighths again. And I'm just making sure my mark is in there. It's not there. Oh, I had it at the wrong spot. That would explain that. Okay, so right there to the place that you already did a little slit. It should match right there. Very good. And I'm going to turn it over because it should be at one and five eighths again. Should be. Ho ho, it looks pretty close. Excellent. Okay, very good. Now I've got my little platform and you can fold that down. All right, you ready? So this, oops, I forgot a score line. There's another score line. No, there's not, there's not another score line. That one doesn't have one. Now this one is a mountain here, and then these little side ones are little mountains. Okay, down here, this one's a little, oh, I didn't do, I can't fold it until I do these cuts. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now we're gonna cut one long cut, and we're gonna cut it from one inch in on each side, one inch, and it's gonna go from um, the 10 inch line to this one inch line. We're cutting that whole strip. So just move your cardstock to where it says shows one inch. We've got the seven inch you know, side going here. Make sure it's lined up right. Find your one inch mark right there. And then we're coming all the way down to the 10 inch mark, which is the fold where you've got a fold there. Now, I almost did that too long there. I should have done these sides before I, <laughs> before I did this slit, because like that is super close. I shouldn't have done it that close. I flipped it over so that I can just put it at the one inch mark right here instead of, otherwise I, I would have had to put it at the six inch mark. Okay, so I'm starting down here on 10 inches, going all the way up to where it says one inch, right there. Okay, now I can fold it. Oh yeah, that was too close. I'm gonna have to put tape on there. What a ding dong. Maybe I should just reinforce it. I, I think I might, I might. I think I might put my tiny strip of tape here just to make sure it's staying. But on the other hand, I'm gonna be sliding a little platform in there. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and reinforce it here because that was dumb. Because I really only needed it to cut to here, maybe just a little more. I did not need to go that far. I'm afraid I'll have a lot of troubles if I don't do that. 
Oops, my video. What are you doing? Again, I have such a hard time <laughs> keeping up with what's going on here. Oh, it is nice there. Excellent. Hi, Chris. It's nice to see you too. How is... Yeah, I thought it was nice in the Tri-Cities. It looked like you guys had perfect weather right now. So I'm going to take my little strip. I do want to save this strip because I'm going to use it to put um, some, oh, you know, some pop-ups on this platform. But I'm going to just glue a little bit here just to reinforce both of these sides um, because I did that slug, which was dumb. But I can't have it very fat. Needs to be super skinny anyway, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I'm so glad your smoke is gone and you're enjoying some good weather again. You deserve it. We're supposed to get rain tomorrow, so I need to get all of those plants in the garden and I have a bunch. I've got a bunch of bushes this year, this time around for gardening. I promise Jeff, it's hard, you know, and I see all the plants, it's like super hard to resist, but I have resisted. I'm just getting bushes and mostly in the front here are evergreen bushes so that I am not having to prune even. I'm not gonna be doing pruning. I've been really careful to not do stuff that needs a lot of effort. Okay, so now this is a val of mountain fold. That's a mountain fold. This one is a valley fold here on the side. And then these in the very bottom are the mountain folds as well. So your card goes like this. Isn't this cute? I, I thought this was a really cute one. I think I think this scary cute's going to look good like this. All right, now this little platform, I'm gonna burnish this, but we're gonna do another fold on it. And uh, I, I think we, we need, oops, I did it again, good grief. This is at least better than the old way when I couldn't find any comments at all. <laughs> I'm on my computer, it wasn't showing, but it does show it on my phone, but my phone constantly is messing up. So what we want is like, a, oh, just a quarter inch, doesn't even have to be a half of an inch, little little fold on this platform, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold it down here, get rid of that cutting blade. I don't wanna cut it. And I'm gonna go just to, I'm, I'm lining the side up here. I'm, I'm going a little more than a quarter of an inch. It doesn't have to be much, but I think maybe a little more than a quarter. And I'm making a fold, scoring it right there. And then this, I'm fold that down. Do I have mark? I do. I have marks on my card. Oh, I already reinforced there. So now I'm stuck with the marks. I better erase those because I really don't want them to show. With black, it's kind of sketchy to erase, so I generally don't do that. But anyway, I did with this one because I was scared. <laughs> okay, your fold is going to go right in that slot. You don't have to, and then that supports it really nicely. You see, when you're or when you open the card, when it's closed, you can. The reason you want those slat slits in the back to be just a little bigger than the actual platform is so that it can slide up because it actually when it's closed it slides up like this and then you, you don't see it if you have it down you know you can see it and i don't really like that so we're gonna have it up like that i just want to make sure everything's burnished really good And then when they open it, if they're they're gonna have to be careful opening it a little bit. So you might want to be careful with who you send this to, but it actually does stand up really nicely. Okay, now we're we're gonna see if this is actually gonna work because um 
I wanted to put pop-ups on here and that's not gonna slide in and out. That is not gonna work at all. That's what I saw in the tutorial, but I think they're gonna have to, I think the platform's gonna have to stay on the inside and stuff's gonna be, I'm not gonna like that. <laughs> I'm rethinking my card right here. I'm thinking that's, that's not what I wanted. I want stuff that pops out and that's not gonna work. Huh. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it right now. We're going to just keep going and, and I'll figure it out as we go. That is so funny. So, Chris, what's it like in North Carolina? Are you guys having good weather? I am getting, I'm getting this paper out. So, do you guys remember this? I think this will look really cute. The um, scary cute, I don't know if I'm even going to use the kids. I don't know. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. But I'm going to, I'm going to start by putting this um, cardstock on the outside here. And the way I'm gonna do that is just to, I'm just gonna cut out this piece like this and then use a stitched rectangle to cut out the opening. It's a little bit less than what this one is, but I think it'll work because I'm going to just move my rectangle. So, because I didn't write it down and I already forgot, this is four and three quarters by five and a quarter. Okay. All right, so let's go four and three quarters. First, four and three quarters by five and a quarter. Okay, so that is gonna fit there. And then let me grab the those stitched rectangles. It's nice in North Carolina. Mm, I bet it's really nice. We've had it so dry here this year that I watered the lawn so it stayed green. And I think my neighbors across the street did too mostly, but some people have let it get really, really dry. So it's a little brown on the in the grass. It's still very green here though. It's still very green. So I'm it, these are not even available anymore, I don't think. Are they? I can't believe they got rid of stitched rectangles. Surely not. They've been there for so long. But this is the one, two, three. This is the fourth size up. Um, or down, I guess, it, for that matter. These are a different shape. Are they? Sort of. Okay, so um to get this in exactly the right spot, I'm going to use my little template. I kind of what I what I did is I laid it, this down because I'm going to keep this with my card design to use as a little template. So I kind of know where that rectangle is going to go on this piece. I just laid it down and then I drew on on the inside, you know, here onto this piece of paper before I cut it. Um, so that I kind of knew what to do with it. So anyhow, let me bring the cutting board over and I'll show you what I need. All right, are you ready for a joke today? I bet you are. Um, I've been kind of a, a little bit distracted today just like this card project has been difficult for me. Um, I thought it was going to be easy because these center step ones generally are, but uh, this one's been difficult. All right, let me get this right here where it belongs. And then I'm gonna kind of see where the rectangle goes. And I'm gonna just slide it in there, sorta, sorta, kinda, sorta. And then I'll eyeball it on the actual board. I just kind of need it to be close to where it needs to be. It doesn't have to be exact close and then I'm because I just mainly want to be sure that it's not too high too low and I need these sides to be pretty accurate my magnet's not grabbing it where I want it to there we go does that look even the rectangles are much more difficult than ovals or circles circles are pretty forgiving but 
the rectangle, not so much. It kind of needs to be exact. All right, that's looking like Pretty close, pretty close. I hate to move it too much because I'm afraid I'll just get it messed up even more. Okay, we're gonna live with that right there. All right, I always, oh, wait, wait, wait. My wife asked me the, oh, I don't have a wife. <laughs> Okay, I have to do it for a husband, sorry. This is what happens when you're just reading a joke cold for the first time. My husband asked me, my husband asked me the other day where I got so much candy. This is appropriate for the holiday season. Have you bought your Halloween candy yet? I usually don't because I'm uh, tempted to eat it like way before it's time, so... Um, I usually don't buy it this early, but last year I just didn't get to Costco and I ended up paying way more for it than I wanted to. So I went ahead and bought our Halloween candy already, but I have stayed out of it. How did I do that? Well, the way is to buy a box of the, for me, I love those Rice Krispie treats and I prefer homemade that taste a lot better than the door stuff but on the other hand it's keeping me out of that <laughs> the candy bars are a lot more calories than the than the, than the twix or i mean the yeah twix or whatever you like okay so the, i just gave away the rest of the joke where did you get so much candy he said he asked and i said i always have a few twix up my sleeve which is actually pretty true i do like tricks and i might have them up my Twix, Twix, those delicious wafer things. I'm a cookie person. Do you like cookies? I love the crunch of cookies. Most people like soft cookies. Thankfully, I married a crunchy cookie guy. Jeff likes crunchy cookies too. Oh boy, crunch, crunch. So Twix is a good one because it's crunchy and caramely and mm, very good. All right. At the fair, I resisted. Jeff and I both resisted. We did not eat anything. I know in my newsletter, I said I had pie, but I was remembering when I wrote that newsletter last year, we found some delicious homemade pies and I did eat a bunch, but this year, actually, we just didn't see that and that worked out quite well. I don't need any pie. And so there's that. And now these, you know, are one inch sides. And so we're going to cut them at three quarters of an inch by four and a quarter. Okay, so we're going to go four and a quarter. And oops, am I in the in in the frame? And then we'll, not one inch. We'll go three quarters of an inch, trying to get at least a partial bat in there. Three quarters of an inch. We need just two of these. Okay, that'll be my little side. I could have done it a bit bigger. And I've got plenty of cardstock, so let's just do it. Let's do it at seven eighths instead of the three quarter. I think I'm I'm not liking that. Let's do seven eighths of an inch instead. That'll just be barely. Oh no, let's flip it. I'm not getting enough bat picture in that that one. All right, here's the next joke. I um, How do cows stay up to date? How do cows stay up to date? <laughs> now, Andy, you are not living out in the farmland anymore, are you? So what is your new house like? Tell me, are you enjoying it? We have lots of cows, not near us, but very, very close to us. So, um... I actually really enjoyed that because we don't smell the cows. They aren't like, they aren't like, um, you know, feedlot cows or anything. 
they're not really dairy cows, I don't think either, but they they must be just free range cows. At least that's mostly what was at the fair, were cows that were gonna, they were in the process of being sold. That was part of the deal. They have down at the fairgrounds, they have like a, but they had the fair and I missed it. I didn't realize it was in September and I've totally missed it. And um, I told Jeff, I'm gonna have to put a reminder in my calendar next time in August to check the fair dates because I thought that they were a month later than the ones in Washington State. Actually, they're a month earlier. <laughs> so I totally missed them. We're still going to go to Silver Dollar City in Branson. It ha They have a really fun fall, you know, whoop de doo all the time there. So it's not like we're missing out on anything too much. We did miss maybe something. Okay, that's what I'm going to do for this this part. Um, I do, I do kind of want this in the background. So this is the one I cut out. I'm gonna just stick that back there, I think. I think. Before I glue it down though, I'm, I'm gonna check out what else I'm doing. I don't really know. I did cut out already the little castle from some glossy cardstock. And I do wanna use that. Now my idea was since I have a platform that I was gonna put these things on a pop-up on the platform, but um, I'm really confused now about how I can do that with, but obviously I can't use this slit if I do that. And if I have, a, have it, it's gonna stand up here when I've got it flat. Yeah. You know, what I'm thinking is that this platform is just way too wide. It needs to be much shorter. And then maybe it can fold down with all of my little doodads on it. And then you can put it up. What do you think? Do you think that's an idea? Let's, let's go ahead and use my extras here, first of all, to make a little, a little pop-up. All you need is to just... No, I was going to use my black cardstock. Where is that? That strip. I was saving. Here you are. Here you are. Okay, so we're, I'm going to take this little strip. I just need it to be about like that. Okay. Then just a little bit for the gluing there. Gonna just roll. So this is where that, I just am folding paper and I'm gonna fold that back there again to get the other side. And then just using my other fold to kind of figure out where that fold would be, sort of. Okay, what is our, how do cows stay up to date? They read the moose paper. The moose, the moose, moose paper, not moose paper. You miss the country, Andy? I bet I thought you would. <laughs> I thought you were going to. Yeah, it's really nice being near it. You're pretty close to it though, right? So you're not able, you're not like too far away from it. Now, where did I put my castle? Have you lost it? I've got too many things all over my desk. Too many pieces. There you are. All right, so we're gonna put the little castle on here. Since it's all black, actually I need it to be folded up a bit more higher. So 
because I don't want the windows of the castle to be completely obscured. So what do you miss about the country so much? Is it just the peace and quiet or the animals? I know here we get to see quite a few animals, which I, that's the part I really like. I'm going to put, I'm going to stick this out here and I'm still toying with having to do this in half. So I'm going to put this on pretty, pretty, um, like that. And that's going to go like that. I want it to be able to fold down. Let me make this a straight cut. I don't need it that much on there. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to, I, no, I'm not going to use tape because this is, I'm going to have to be really judicious with my glue. That's one of the reasons when I go on the, my hike I, or bike ride to the park, I try really hard to find times that no one else is there. Oops, I want it on this side. The kids are going to be facing the other way, so it needs to be this way. Okay, so I've got my little little flap. I'm just making sure it'll it'll close. Either direction, depending on which way I need it to close, but it is going to stand up and it goes like down, like that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to see how this looks. I'm not going to be. I'm not as happy with this as I I, I was, just because that doesn't. You know, I mean, that's nice when the platform's down. Not at all nice when it's standing up. So you can get it to go down, but I don't think when it pops up, it's going to pop up right. So I, I'm not happy about that. But anyway, we're going to go with it anyway. This is what happens when you do a card and don't actually do the card until after it's time to go. I thought for sure this would work. Yep, the cat, I can see it. I under, oh, the bullfrogs and the crickets. Yes, the sounds, I get you. Um, totally get that. It's peaceful at night. It's restful, just calming. So, and in the daytime, it's fun. Just all those sounds. I, I completely understand what you're talking about. Chris, if you're there still, do you live in the country or do you live in the city? We live in the county just on the edge of Springfield. So this isn't, it feels like city, but it's actually a little more country than it might otherwise be. Okay, so now I've got that. I don't think I need this in here. So I'm glad I didn't glue that down because I'm not gonna put those kids in there because um, they're silhouettes. They're really cute kids, but they're silhouettes. So that's not gonna really work. I did get out the bats, I cut out the bats. I cut a bunch of these moons because I'm gonna make them layered pretty thick. Um, Instead of just having a dimensional on one moon, I'm going to just glue them together so they're kind of like a thick piece. So they'll just look a bit more substantial than just one, one cut. Okay, I've got four of them here. We have a ton of crickets here. My goodness, when I was doing our patio in the back, I can see where they all live. They love under those rocks out there or pavers or whatever you want to call them. So there's a bunch. We have a bunch of crickets. That's obviously 
one of the main things the birds feast on out there, the ones that aren't eating the seed. Our robins were gone for the summer, so they must migrate up north and they're back. So it's nice to see them back. Okay, so that just makes kind of a nice little thick moon. It's not quite as skinny. And we'll stick you in here on a dimensional. One should do it. Okay. Hmm. Where, 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 where? I'm not really sure, because see, I can't have it there. It's going to have to be on this back part. Back here. Joe! Oh. <laughs> I'm having a hard time figuring out where I want it. Let's stick it, like, right there okay yeah I can see I definitely am needing to have this half 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 of a platform so uh, let's try to it's gonna be tough to score it with my castle on it I really can't so I'm not going to even try I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to fold I'm really disappointed that didn't work out as well as it should have. You don't want to fold like this if you can avoid it. It doesn't, it kind of makes it wrinkly and not so nice. All right, but that is gonna work out a lot better. I can still kind of stick it in there if I want to. In my slot. Let's see what happens if I do that. Hmm. That's fine. Then what happens if I bring it down? I can't bring it down very much because it'll ruin my castle. So it's definitely not a platform that can, it can support through that slot if you really want to, but it's totally unnecessary. Um, even if it was just flopping there, I think it would support my castle on anything else I have there. And then it would just fold down. So at least now I know I can trim it. We'll trim away some of that. And then it can fold down like this and it won't show on the bottom. Of the card so that will work and then it still has a little lip and can fold into this slot back here for it to support so it's no not a total loss I just not quite what I wanted all right so now I do need something though a tag here or here because I want to use those little black bats they're cute oh the owls yeah, uh, the owls are really cool. Oh man, you, I didn't realize that you had so many things, <laughs> so many things, Andy, that you and that you heard out there. I mean, I never would have thought about it. All of the, you know, the hay trucks and all of that sort of thing too. Just the busyness of the farm. Yeah, that is all stuff that you would definitely miss. And at night, you would probably hear a lot of those coyotes. I never thought about that. Now, that might have been a little scary. Did you ever get scared by stuff like that? All right. Now we need some tags. And still trying to think how I can use these kids. Maybe we'll do a kid, the, a bigger tag with the kids. We'll put maybe a little circle in there with the, with the sentiment. I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's see what we can do. So I'll just grab. I've got some extra cardstock laying here. Let's see what we can do. All right. Now the smallest kids are this grouping. This is the one I really like. Those are pretty cute. The he's cute. 
Maybe we'll just use him because then I can use him with with oh we've got this guy the <laughs> the dracula one is so fun yeah maybe i actually prefer frankenstein but the love at first bite is so fun because you know candy and biting and all of that it's kind of cute so that wouldn't be bad i think i might like that let's do that So whatever tag we do, we're going to end up getting it kind of t close in like that. Of course, we're going to just use black. This is um, a really good set to have new people who haven't got a lot of stamp things. And if, if they have kids, particularly, uh, this is a really good one for them because then they don't need a lot of ink pads. I should use my Stamparatus make, because then I can re-ink a bunch. It's a cling stamp. You can see where it's not quite, quite inking up in the middle there for some reason, right there. I don't know why. Let me do a little rub on it. There, that looks better. Okay. Hmm. There's a mark. I better do it again. It's a little too carried away. Maybe I should do that Stamparatus. The Stamparatus just makes these silhouettes so much easier to use. Then you can just keep stamp, stamp, stamping over it. Until you get the impression you need. If you're doing any sil silhouette stamps at all, I just would strongly encourage you to just get the Stamparatus because... You'll be sorry if you didn't. At some point, you'll be sorry. Okay. Let's see, I always forget. I don't think I need my, my phone. I do need the magnets. I'm just not clicking on all cylinders today. Okay, um, what's the difference between a well-dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bicycle? Okay, so what's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a bicycle, is that right, and a, and a well-dressed man on a unicycle? Yeah, this is a pretty good one. I think you'll like it. This would be a really good joke for kids. It'd make them think a bit. Okay, so I'm going to just take this, stick you right there, and hope that you're in the right spot. Let's see. Nope, you're not. You're not at all. I need you to be like here. Since it's, <laughs> since it's all inked up and I don't really want to re-ink, I'm trying to... Okay, there we go. That's where you... Now I don't have to worry about it. I can just ink and stamp. And then if it isn't quite right, you know, not solid enough, you just keep going. You don't have to push so hard. And eventually you'll get everything all inked up really well. That's pretty good. There's still some space there and there, little white sparklies. So, brother, I just lost, I don't know what, a whole bunch of stuff there. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna do it anymore. Let me grab my, my chamois. I have to get this block clean, too. I noticed I got a bunch of black all over it. Okay, so what's the difference? Does anybody know? What's the difference between a well-dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bicycle? It's... Are you ready for the punchline? It's a tire. <laughs> It's a good one for kids because they probably don't use the word attire very often. And um, my, this is dirty. I need to clean that guy. All right, now we're going to do the um, sentiment, if I can find it. And I can do it the right way. I'm going to stick that like right there. 
No, maybe there. No, right there. Okay. Perfect. Um, <laughs> here's a good one. You're going to like this one. <laughs> now, this isn't true because um, some people, I suppose, would consider this as a job, and I don't because it's too much fun. Um, the whole stamping thing is super fun. <laughs> so it's not a job. But this is a good job joke. If you're not, if you're, As long as you're not telling it to your boss, you don't want to tell this one to your boss. Where's my, oh, there it is. I've always got this stuff all over the place and there went the other card. I don't think it matters now at this point. Oh boy, mess, mess, mess all over the place. Let me get my ink out of the way before I stick my thumb in it. Okay, now, what can I use to cut this out? The, 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 the flag that comes with it is cute, but it's not going to work on this, obviously. Oh, we've got a to and from. That's kind of nice. Okay, I might use this too. No, here we go. We've got Halloween happiness. Now, that's pretty cute. I'm just trying to find something good that'll go in here. So I think we'll do Halloween happiness. I think that'll be cute. So before I put everything away, let's stamp that. All right. Okay, so here is the joke. I have to kind of just tell, tell this one. This is a good one. I hate my job. All I do is crush cans all day. It's so depressing. So depressing. So depressing, you know, so depressing. Anyway, I thought it was funny. Um, maybe I do like, I didn't think I liked puns. Isn't that a pun? Because I don't usually like puns, but that one I thought was, I thought that was funny. Okay, so... Let's get out. This one's kind of big, but it would work. And then I could put my little bats on it, especially if I do it like that. And then I could put the little bats on it. So we'll use that one for that. And we've got a bigger one for this guy. This guy, I'd like to cut around him. Let's see if we can do that. So I think what I'll do is I'll just cut this part. No, I'm not gonna like that. Hmm. I'm not sure how to do him. Maybe I better just grab a bigger die on that one. Let's see how big of a die we can put here without it looking weird do that one shorter and then that will work so we'll use these two and um, then I don't have to go on a die hunt for, for other dies just because I don't want you to have to be waiting a long time I have no idea what time it is my clock wound down a long time ago and um, oh my goodness Andy I'm just now looking at your message right up to your pastures it would be scary uh-huh, yeah, the Little House on the Prairie books, I love those stories. You do know that the author, it ha that this is where they moved to here in Missouri, like one hour drive away. It's really nice. Their little Rocky Ridge farm um, is, a, is a museum, and, and it's, it's just a really sweet deal. So another reason to come and visit us sometime. But, um... Those, um, yeah, I think it was on the shores, was it on the shores of Silver Lake where they had 
um, the wolves, the wolf pack came up to their, their place and um you know was it was very scary that in those stories i think it was i think it was the shores of silver lake okay so there's that and I'll put my magnets away before I lose track of it. I've already got them all messed up. Okay. And then this one right here. No. Was I going to go like that? What, what was I going to do? Oh, I'm going to shorten it up. That's right. So I'm going to shorten it up. So I'll start here and we'll cut it two times. And that way I'll get it the size I want it to be. Okay, like that. And then we'll just turn it around. And try to feel where the grooves are so that you're not, you know, recut cutting in the wrong spot, basically. So you can kind of feel where the grooves are in the in the first cut that you made. Try to line that up there. And then when you cut through again, hopefully, it won't leave you with a big mess. And you can see it did it did a little bit there, but this piece is a discard now anyway. So you just don't want that on on this piece if you can avoid it. Okay, so this is going to go here. Okay, this is going to be cute. I'm actually not minding it now, <laughs> even though it didn't do what I wanted it to do. And then I'm going to put on the little the little bats on this tag. Where are you, little bats? I had. Uh huh. There you are. These are my little. Do you, do you still have, like I do, some of this black glossy? I have some. One there. Let's see. One there. We might put one here as well. Maybe, yeah, let's just do that. So let's grab mini dimensional. Let's see if we can fit it on the wing. I think I can. Like that. And then that one's going to go in there. Oops, I uncovered one. Do you do that too? I hate that when I do that. Okay, here's another one. Where do pirates get their hooks? Where do pirates, this is a good one. These are good ones for kids. Where do pirates get their hooks? Let's see if anybody can guess this one. All right. Let's see if I can get this on here somewhat straight. It's kind of not there. Oh, cute. It's not bad, you know. It's ending up not being bad. It's it's good. I I'm I'm going to I'm going to like it after all, thankfully. <laughs> I hate that when I don't like what I've just spent hours making. That's not good. All right. This one I don't know if I can get a mini dimensional on there. I think I can get a piece of dimensional. Maybe. I can grab it. I guess I could grab my tweezers out. That would probably help. This one's too long. Let's 
I don't hear any coyotes here. We do not miss that. <laughs> I don't know if that's something I would really miss all that much myself, but I guess if you grew up with it, it's kind of like the train tracks. We do love being, I don't hear them here. We used to hear them in Richland, but I do kind of miss it. But they are all over the place, so anytime we drive anywhere, we hear them. Okay, let's grab some bigger dimensionals so that this doesn't take so long. I need to be careful where I'm sticking them on. Let's put them on the bottom, just a couple for now, so that I don't get them where I don't want them. Maybe like one right behind his head. All right, this is good. I am enjoying it. And where pirates get their hooks, do you say? Second-hand stores. Second-hand stores. Ah, that's a good one. All right, here we go. Love at first bite. Happy Halloween. Halloween happiness. So there you go. It, it can stick in the little slot and stand up. It can kind of go down and fold flat, thankfully, or reasonably flat. But, um, yeah, this was not as good a design as I'd hoped. It's not bad, but when you really use the platform the way you're supposed to, then this sticks out wrong. So you don't need that slot back there, so don't even worry. I had so much trouble cutting it, and you really just don't even need it at all. Because if this kind of flops down a bit, it's it's all good. And I don't think you need anything more. The only thing that would make it better would be some pumpkins here, right? Little pumpkins would be cute. Let's see, what have we got? I know I don't have any pumpkins handy because I looked for pumpkins. On our team meeting, our card thing, um, Diana did some really cool pumpkins. And um, I have not bought out the ones that I have that are pretty cool pumpkins. I didn't get them out. And I didn't want to take the time to find them. But actually one of the better small, smallish kind of pumpkins that we have are from our old Gather Together set. That's the one she used. And they were really cute. And I forgot that this set even has like the uh, little... Um, um, this little wheat sheath. Okay, it's, it's a cute set. So this will give me just a little pumpkin on the side, baby. Right there. Because um, This does have a die. Perfect. So that I can just get it cut real quick and easy. day that it feels like it's more like fall. It's um, been very, very slow to get cool here, but not, not bad. I am enjoying it. The last summer, it, um, it got cold pretty early. Um, have I lost my pumpkin pies? I don't see pumpkin pie. Oh my goodness. That's weird. I'm having to use Cajun craze. I'm sure I have pumpkin pie. Huh. Of course, every time I order things, I don't order what I really need, apparently, because I'm just not seeing pumpkin pie in there. This is, I'm thinking I left it somewhere. Here's p pale papaya, the dark one. Let's try that. Ah, that's good. Huh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go on a pumpkin pie hunt. It's kind of like one of those colors I can't do without in the fall. <laughs> like what in the world? What happened to my pumpkin pie? Maybe I put it in with my, oh, I think I see it in fact right now. What, what were you thinking, Kathy? 
there you are. You're in with all of my my neutrals. So strange. Okay, we'll just get a little bit here. Aha, uh -huh. I do see that the tip's getting kind of messed up. There we go. Okay, there we go. I'll leave you out. I need to put you back where you belong. And little stem color. I went and got um, pumpkins at a farm stand instead of the pumpkin patch. And I, I, I really wasn't going to do that because we actually have a really cool pumpkin patch super close to us. Rutledge Farms does a big, you know, maze and all kinds of family fun things. And I know they have a pumpkin patch. That's what we were going to do. We didn't do it last year because we were, we had just moved in or, you know, we're just moving in. So last year I did not decorate for autumn all that much, but this year I could. And, uh, Boy, that farm stand, the pumpkins they had were fabulous. Whole whole bunch of different, the real warty kind, uh, the Cinderella ones, different colors. Oh, they're so cool. I'm a pumpkin fiend when I get into the pumpkin patch or anywhere. They were all, you know, cut out right there. Perfect, laid out. They were all really inexpensive. I was so excited about it. So I have... A nice assortment of pumpkins out there, but I did not get to the pumpkin patch. Okay, now a really good sized pumpkin there, I think wouldn't be a miss either. But we're going to go ahead and just finish this card out anyway without it. And get you going on your day. Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it a lot. It was fun chatting with you guys. Oops, I just messed up my... I messed it all up again. There, 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 there. <laughs> and I'm glad you enjoyed my jokes. They're pretty funny. Those dad.com ones are funny. Okay, dad's jokes. There we go. Ha Halloween happiness. Scary cute. This is a cute one. Um, I already have Halloween cards all ready to go to our grandkids, but... I don't know. This one might just win out on the ones that I'd already made this year because I'm I'm actually thinking that turned out pretty cute. That center center scene step card, uh, very interesting. Again, uh, so it has the platform, but um, don't do the cutout in the back. It's totally unnecessary, and then and it's going to be problematic so if we just don't do that it it turned out pretty good so here's a good lesson to be learned just don't give up keep working on it it's probably going to be fine <laughs> and you could just say that's how i planned it you know it just it worked out fine um this one's got some you know, funkiness on the inside because I have those cutouts and reinforcements and all, and I didn't even need any of that. So there you go. Now I know. I might want to save this one with my template so I can see what not to do next time. That's probably what I better do. All right. Thank you so much again. I already said it, but for joining me, I do appreciate it and appreciate um all of the information that you send me at various times. I, I am, thank you so much and keeping me on track with what's on sale and what's not. Um, it's helpful too, because sometimes I forget all the stuff that Stampin' Up! is doing. It's so hard to, hard to remember what's going on. All right, um, let's see, anything else? It's just, I think right now it's just the special offer for joining. Uh, $159 worth of stuff for, for $99. And, um, and that's, I think that's what it is. It's a really good deal. And, oh, thank you so much, Barb. You're so fine. It's so, so nice. 
<laughs> I'm getting tongue tied. And um, it seemed like there was a bunch of other stuff going on, but I just don't even remember what it is. I'm really distracted with the garden right now. And um, so anyhow, I am getting that welcome window, welcoming window, the window one, whatever our window one is that I haven't, I already have the old window. So I didn't want to get a new window because I like the old window. I think the old window is a welcoming window. So this one is window wishes, I believe. And um, <laughs> so anyhow, um, I, you know, I was thinking this would be cute with the window. Um, I do think it would be cute with the window. It might even work better. I don't know. We'll see. But I, I need, here's the thing. Maybe if you could, make, our, this, this one is, um, you know, a little longer. Usually the center step is higher. I think the higher more vertical version would be better with the window. I mean, I could be wrong, but who knows? All right. Um, I Aunt Connie. It says it wants to join my video. I bet that was an accidental. <laughs> it's nice to see you, Aunt Connie. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys are doing really well. We're doing good. I am going to go out and dig in the dirt. I'm going to be really dirty. And when I dig around here, it's nothing like, yeah. and the Tri-Cities, the sand, you know, kind of just brushes off you if you're not, you know, right in it. it I, I didn't get that dirty, but here the dirt is like super dirty. <laughs> it just comes in, gets all over all oh, my, my feet. Even when I think I didn't get, I've got shoes and socks on. that My feet shouldn't be too dirty. Oh boy. <laughs> So it's like uh, these days I'm taking two showers at least every day <laughs> and I love it. It's been great. I'm enjoying it. So see you next week and have a wonderful day. Bye.